Two one-loss teams meet up as LVC visits Widener in Week 8, and the Pride strike first. Chris Haup hits Carmen in Belzano seven yards for the score. LVC comes back, grinds their next drive for Ben Giles to finish it off with a dive to the pylon, makes it 6-6. Start of the second quarter, Widener retakes the lead when Haup finds Anthony Clayton on a 22-yard strike to go up 13-6, and after a Brandon Harper interception, the Pride settle for this 30-yard James McFadden field goal. LVC's big play offense shows signs of life on the next possession. Colt Zarilla hits Joey Miller up the sideline, 38 yards for a touchdown, as Miller shakes his defender, and that cuts the lead to 16-13. But things unravel from there. Widener scoring three touchdowns in the final 3.09 of the half. First, Haup hitting Cedric Clayton on the free play. Then after an LVC punt, Haup goes off again to Anthony Davis, a big play with a minute 15 remaining in the half. And the backbreaker, Laquan Robinson, ending up with a tip ball and going 83 yards for the pick six, taking the wind out of LBC sales and giving Widener the 36-13 halftime lead. Start of the second half, LBC looking for a turnaround and they get a good start. Dave Hallinan gets in front of this pass for an interception and later in the drive that sets up this 15-yard touchdown to an extremely wide open Matt Mankiewicz. Widener comes back another touchdown before Blair Ransom rumbles his way into the end zone taking a couple defenders with him to put LVC in striking distance at 43-27. But just as soon as that door opened for LVC, Laquan Robinson shuts it. Ensuing kickoff, Robinson takes the return, goes 88 yards untouched, and that would all but end it. LVC gets a late consolation touchdown. This punt block by Andrew Burkholder setting up Kenny King's first career touchdown. To finish it up, 57-33, Dutchman fall to Widener, and are now 5-2 this season. 